Okay, everybody, let's take a look at it. What's this thing do? Okay, we'll go with that, I suppose. All right, we'll go with all that. Now, I've been playing it for a little bit, and I'm wondering, I did the, I did this particular one here, and I'm kind of wondering if spawns are random for the creatures, so we'll see how that goes. This is solo mode, by the way. I'm trying to figure out. I may get a refund if it if if I feel like there's uh, not enough in the game. Because it's thirty nine ninety nine Canadian. I may ask for a refund if it doesn't seem to add up to the game at all. Like if the game isn't worth it. Creatures are exact same locations. But not as many, I don't think there 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 were a lot more than meets the eye here. Yeah, there are many more creatures in this area. I think the first time I played this map, there were like seven in here. I think. Now there were a couple over here somewhere. You know, I'm finding the textures, guys. Like my settings are all on high across the board of Colonial Marines. That's what it reminds me of, as far as the textures are concerned. Not that games, you know, I care too much about the graphics in games. Because I really don't. Um,
Yeah, because for thirty nine ninety nine, so far the game doesn't seem like it's given me enough to, to qualify itself good enough for thirty nine ninety nine yet. I don't know. For forty bucks, man, that's awfully expensive. Ammo pack four eight seven. And I know the game's early access. I get the concept, okay. But to ask for forty bucks out of the gate, uh, I don't know. It's not. Uh, my health.
Oh, they burst right through that sucker. Well, that didn't work, did it? Held them off, though, for a second. Now, the reason why I wanted to do that was hopefully to pull them out of there so that they wouldn't alert a mass amount of them if there are any more in here. I don't know, maybe there aren't. See what I'm saying? It didn't act, it only activated those two. Which is pretty much what I was wanting. See, I'm sneaking right now, right? Okay, we've got how many? Three so far that I can see. I'm going to have to clear these guys out, though. I'm going to have to clear them out. Got one there. Yeah, I'm going to... Wait, a trigger, an alarm in another part of the facility? these guys out of here all right I've got 40 rounds I should be able to take these guys out so taking hopefully too much damage Sleepers. all right I don't know if I can blow these canisters up or not but I could make my way back out hang on the corner there and just shoot those I don't know if that'll work or not but uh, it'll be worth a shot doing it. Ah, oh, crap. What are those things? Can't do anything with it. Oh my god, my shooting's bad today. He 
They seem to make their way right through. What are they shooting at me? What are they shooting at me, I wonder? Is there a toggle for this? For my sprint toggle, crouch toggle, and must aim toggle. Okay, there we go. What's that head syringe? What was that? Hide syringe needles. Okay. Oh, I guess people are okay. Now yeah, we brought them all out of there. Holy crap. That room is very full. Okay. Seems we need a purple key card here. Oh man, I'm forced to have to go through that room. What do I have here? Rounds remaining 210. Target scanning. Let's start with this weapon. Kind of reminds me of uh, the alien. Sleepers, don't wake them. What good is this weapon? I can't do anything with it. How do you activate it? Yeah, right. What's going on? Oh, man. <sighs> what was the use of that as a weapon? I don't get it. How could I, how could I activate that one, I wonder? I wonder how I can activate that. Okay, that here, I don't want. Uh, bio tracker deployable. Yeah, I probably I don't know. See, I don't a mind deployer. We'll take that. Burst cannon. I will. Uh, the burst cannon. I wasn't too fond of, to be honest. Low ammo capacity, though. Probably burn through that ammo like there's no tomorrow. We'll take that. All right, we're going to the same map. We're going to see how things change up, if, if anything. I'm trying to figure out how in the name can you be quiet because even if you're crouching and being quiet <laughs> so believe it or not what I'm experiencing right now as far as gameplay is is uh the game should be only about nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah, the game should only be about twenty bucks. And I mean that's on the high side actually.
Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, on the high side. Bonds are different every time. Okay, well that's good to know. Uh, randomization is very important. It's it's really needed for replayability. No two ways about that. Uh, I thought I just saw movement there. We're just gonna bypass that terminal. Now, it would be nice if they added the story to this um, eventually um, because it certainly has the mood for it uh, but why am I getting the impression that the developers not going to add much of anything except for what you have right now um, Now, I don't look at roadmaps because developers, even though they put out roadmaps, they don't really follow the roadmaps. I don't think I've really... Uh, they really don't. Um, they do that to placate uh, people. You know, keep them quiet sort of thing, right? Stop asking, you know, us this qu these questions. Uh, we're going to do what we're capable, you know, we're, we're going to do what we can do sort of thing. And if you don't like it, then, you know, don't buy the game. Sort of thing. Ah, uh, Michael, get off of that. Oh, crap. Not good.
okay, where's that door? <laughs> oh, how I get turned around sometimes, but I need a med pack. Do I have any med packs? How do you, okay, I gotta learn to do this. I mean, I can definitely see the benefit of having this for other players as well. Now, I did leave a comment um, earlier on the forums about adding in, like, uh, you have a four-player slot. You'd fill one, of course, and you fill the other three with bot AI and bring up a command system like you would in Ghost Recon. Um, <clears throat> Okay, I want to go back to that. Okay, that is the first door open, right? It'd be nice to have other ways that you can... It would be nice to be able to have different ways to get in, but you randomize it throughout the levels. Like there's, okay, you have this door, but there's another door that's on another side. Um, which will allow you to um, to make your way through sort of thing like how do you lay mines here how do you lay mines There we go, okay. Okay, so it's close to me. Now, are these trip mines useful to, like... Holy God, it's got no head and it's still coming after me. Holy moly. All right. Now that I know that, do I, can I trigger this? No. Good enough.
could do with a med pack. Now that I'm, I'm learning more and more about the, uh, now this place probably will be full. This could be problematic. Fire off. Don't wake them. Bloody hell. Okay, those mines did get rid of a few of them, or not a few of them, just a couple of them, but outside of that. <clears throat> you know, I didn't like that first kid. Shotgun does a uh, shotgun does a pretty good job. Mine deployer. What else do we have here? We have automatic enemy detection. Nah, I don't want that. Deployable automatic. Enemy. What does that actually mean? Or if I put that up against the doors and pull them wide open. Anything behind it gets triggered here. Enemy. Okay. Well, I mean, that, that, that's really quite interesting, these type of weapons they've got here. So these are all the same, not one over another. Yeah. Okay, folks, uh, I'm going to leave it for now. Um, it's interesting. But like I said, it would be nice to be able to have multiple ways of handling this. Uh, but of course the game's not really it's designed to coordinate yourself with your teammates um, I get that but not everybody has friends who will want to play the game all at the same time I mean sure if they all buy it at the same time they're gonna play it but people are gonna get bored of it and there's really not enough in this game in order to keep a person wanting to keep coming back to it at least for me it doesn't Um, I'm still thinking, uh, you know, it's, it's $40. I mean, that's an awful, horrendous amount of money for something that has great potential. But, I mean, how, 
How often have we seen games before that we all looked at and went, boy, this game has incredible potential, only see a developer get bored with continuing working on it, um, or either don't care about working on it anymore, or, you know, just, just giving up on it. Um, I like the idea. I like what they're doing. I like the atmosphere. Um, but I think the developers really, they have such a narrow view of what they're wanting to do. Like they can open up this game to be something fantastic, but instead they decided to, instead of doing that, because that would require more work, what they've done was just focus in on, okay, it's going to be online only you can play with other friends or play by yourself but it's not really made to play by yourself so the developers forcing people to play a game style specifically for the way they want you to play and that's not the way you should be making games games should be made the way to let people play the game the way they would really like to it's better just to give all the tools to the to the gamer and let them decide how they want to play You know? But anyway, that's just me. Turn something like this into a Ghost Recon Game Boy, and we've got something. And I'm not talking Ghost Recon Seeds. I'm talking like the old style, like Rogue Spear, Ghost Recon, uh, Ghost Recon, uh, oh. Like the, <clears throat> that series really had a great, a great way of, of presenting the solo player, even if you're with a teammate who's joined you, you still have that ability to issue orders, bring up a map, go here, co like put your attention on here, open fire, be aggressive, be silent, you know, and all of that. If they added these base mechanics to this game, they would really have something. And open up these maps more, you know. Um... I like seeing the randomization of the creatures, that's nice because, you know, one moment you drop in and you got ten creatures in the same room you just dropped in, which is not a good thing, obviously, these things are dangerous, but, uh, which is a good thing, don't, Dev, don't, uh, lower the deadliness of this game, That that's one of the beautiful parts about the game, okay? Um, but allow, um, but there's so much more you can add to this game. It's militaristic, tactical, so why not add in those great pieces of gameplay that made the Ghost Recon series, the early uh, Ghost Recon series, very successful. People still play today. I play today still. Uh, I still play Rogue Spear today. I still play all the oldies because they were good. And they're still good games. Today's games, they lack, just not content, they lack the spirit of what makes games great. Anyway, bye for now.